There are a lot of heavy hearts as we mark the one year since the Pulse nightclub tragedy and with terrorist attacks, it seems happening more and more often. A local group says many people are more fearful and nervous. ABC Action News reporter Heather Lee shows us why people are taking these attacks personally. James Dia, modern technology is allowing terrorist attacks to feel closer than ever. Watching the horror unfold not only on your television, but also on your social media news feeds. I think that the world has become a very small place because of the media, particularly social media. You may know friends, family members, acquaintances that are maybe in Europe or, or over in other parts of the world. Clara Reynolds, CEO at the Crisis Center of Tampa Bay, says that is causing more folks to fear a terrorist attack happening here. She says their job is to remind people they're safe in the community and help identify any underlying issues that may be contributing. I think every worry is legitimate from your perspective. Um, I think everything is relative. Every fear is relative. Our job is to help individuals put that into perspective. The most important thing you can do, talk about your fears with people who care, like friends and family. Make sure you're eating right, getting plenty of rest, and engaging in activities you enjoy. Reynolds says if you're still feeling fear, emotion, or depression months after an attack, it's a good idea to get help from a doctor. After the shooting at Pulse nightclub, Reynolds says many folks called in concerned and overwhelmed by emotions. And because today marks the one year anniversary of the shooting, folks are ready and waiting to take your phone call. If you need them, all you have to do is dial 211.